Hello guys, I'm here to help you create a stunning CV that will make you stand out of the crowd. And then if you want to apply for a job, this CV, when you use it, is going to give you results. Forget to subscribe so that when I drop any video, you can, I mean, access that video. Don't forget that subscribing will motivate us to do more and you share and then you comment. To build a stunning CV for your work, first of all, you need to go to the App Store and then App Store that you search, um, go and search CV Builder. Yeah, so CV Builder. And uh, a whole lot of uh, available CV builders will come. So you scroll and look for um, this particular CV builder, uh, which is uh, okay. So these are different types of CVs you are going to see. Okay, so this one res resume builder, resume builder, go to job. Yes, go to job resume. Okay, so when you get your CV, the first thing is you go to your personal details. So th those are the, the personal details, objective, work experience education so I go to uh, personal details and the first is your name so I type in my name so Kukubuahin is my name I type my name and then um, the profession after typing the name so whatever profession if you are an English teacher social studies teacher science teacher business teacher then I come to my email so that's my email Kukubuahin at gmail.com then if you have a website you type in the website and then uh, so www.boahin.com that is if you have a website if you don't have a website no problem now your your telephone number uh, your your mobile number so that's my number there uh, let me put my original number there zero two four nine one 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 four five three so that's my original number you put that there if you have two numbers you add it at the mobile if you want your date of birth to appear on your cv it's not very important but if you want it you can also add it then your address um if you have two addresses if you have two address you can add all of them and then you go it's one of you save then now you come to the next one which is objective so your objective so that's what i've written capable educator with over five years of experience in various teaching roles excellent classroom management teaching blah 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 so whatever you want to put there you put that there and then after you go to save you come back now work experience so this is my work experience so you put your work experience here you edit your work experience yes so whatever work experience you have if you've taught in so and so secondary school you put it there in front of mine or in front of him secondary you put it there okay so you add it uh, your school and then if you are an english teacher or you are the science teacher you input there then where you live you also put that there so other job where you have one if you have worked it if we have worked at another place you input that too in the other section plus the year so you do that so this is the other one so i worked in so and so year also reflecting there until you are satisfied you've written all the work experience there then you save and come to next one education so education is if you hold a bachelor of education or if you hold a bachelor of art you write that then the course if it's english education you put it there and then you come to your other certificate so i have 120 hour tesor tefl course and then well tefl tesor academy you put that to you there when you are done you come to the next one so that's my other education i input all of them in education column then if you have if you have certain courses and certificate you input that one too so i have 120 hour tefl course i have certificate in whatever basic digital skills toilet lesson so i input that too and then languages so you input the language i can speak english uh fluency advanced and then i can speak basic french so i can speak french and that is for basic french and then you save that to you move on to skills so my skills i can i've done ms office word excel and powerpoint i also have good communication skills i input that and then if you want to if you want to add a qr code if you want to add a qr code yeah you can do that uh, if you have a youtube and you want to connect your youtube to 
your CV to, you can do that. If you have any awards, yes, yeah, so awards and positions. So those are my awards and position. You arrange that to categorically, and then you save that one too. Don't don't stack it with a whole lot of information. I mean, the relevant information are very important. Then you are done. Then you make sure you you put a picture there. You put a picture. There. So that's my picture there. You can put your picture there. Uh, go to camera select and then choose the particular picture you want it to be there. When you are done, you just go to send resume. Yes, so send resume. And then you choose the template that you want. There are a whole lot of templates. Now this um, app gives you a whole lot of free templates. There are other templates you have to pay for. So let me go through the template, the free, some of the free templates that you can select for free. It's free. It's free. Once you choose the template, it will arrange it for you categorically and then you just have to push it. So these are some of the free templates. This template is free. This template is free. Free template. Free template. All these templates are free. The black and white templates are free. So all these ones are free templates. You can just choose and go ahead. All these templates are free. But then these ones are paid for. So they paid for templates, stuff, yes. So this template, you have to pay. There's one dollar, you have to pay. This template, you have to pay. These are paid for templates. This is what I selected, this is what I used. And I have to pay, I think it's one dollar. Yes, I paid one dollar before I could access this template. I could access this beautiful, nice template. It's so simple to read. Now here, coming here, you need a very easy template. You don't have to stock your CV with a whole lot of information, no. You just need, uh, I mean, the information to be simple after you send. So your PDF, you send to WhatsApp or whatever app you want to send it to. You just send it this way. So I'm choosing where to send it to. I'm choosing. Yeah, so I can send my CV here. I'm sending forwarding it to WhatsApp. Yes, I'm forwarding it to WhatsApp, uh, to my WhatsApp. So I just forward it. And then I now, okay, so that's it. I, I, I go to my WhatsApp and check if the CV is, is here. I can also send to my email. Of course, if you're applying for a job, you will send it through email, but it becomes PDF. So you can send it to wherever you want to send it. So this is, uh, I'm going to open the WhatsApp. So I'm going to my WhatsApp, okay, to open and see. Okay, so that's my WhatsApp. I will open and check if the CV is there. Oh, voila, that's the CV. And that's the CV. I'll just open the CV. Asia, you want to apply for a job? This is the kind of CV you need. All you need to do for me is to subscribe. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Like, comment, and share the videos. It only motivates us to do more. So don't forget to, I mean, subscribe. But then let me tell you, this video was originally created. This app I realized from... Um, Dr. Wilson, uh, one Achabu, he was the one I saw this video, I used it and it helped me. I applied for a job with this CV after doing it his way and it helped. And I think I'm um, still a lot of people asking a lot of questions. So this video is just to get you to also know.